hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for taking a minute to click on this video and support my channel i greatly appreciate it if you're returning y'all know i appreciate y'all i'm gonna just get right into this video today i want you to let me know as always like what you think in the comments down below so okay let me just start off by saying a couple years ago i got whatever was going around um like in june of 2020 um so ever since then my smell has not been right my taste wasn't right for a while but the biggest thing is like my smell and sense of smell has never like returned to the way it was prior to me getting sick um it just and what i mean by that like i can smell y'all don't let me i mean it's not like i can't smell but it's things i smell cigarette smoke like 99 percent of the time what i smell is like cigarette smoke um lately it's been more of like smelling what i feel like is a rotten smell i know it sounds nuts just hear me out though so i figured it was that kind of situation like my smell and taste just quite aren't quite right so i was talking to my kids and they kind of confirmed that i wasn't going crazy a couple of nights ago so and just let me know what y'all think i know just bear with me it sounds crazy i'm gonna get to it in a minute. <laughs> i'm struggling with life right now so i have noticed that food tastes different um what i mean by different and like i said i was kind of just con attributing all that to like my sense of smell because sense of smell tastes all that goes hand in hand but my kids let me know that again it's not just me so i've noticed things like a couple months ago they had like the hamburger patties and i was cooking the hamburger patties and it smelled like chemicals um and i asked my husband and my kids and nobody thought it smelled like chemicals they just thought it was me um the hamburgers they tasted like okay they didn't taste like they normally did but they were okay you know still edible you know not a big deal i knew they were still in date because i had just got them so lately everything i eat it doesn't taste great at all like goldfish goldfish used to be really good and they weren't so great to me but i just thought it was because okay maybe i'm an adult and finally goldfish just aren't great and aren't appealing to me but i was talking to my kids and two of my girls come to find out they think the goldfish tastes completely different apples i think i mentioned this a couple of months ago i craved apples during my pregnancy like craved them all the time i can eat several a day and to me they taste different for the longest i thought maybe it's because they weren't in season at the time but you guys you might remember a video that i did last year talking about the apples something's going on i don't know i hate to say or hate to think that these people are straight up poisoning us yeah i'm saying the word poison um but it kind of makes you think if you guys remember the apple video from last year i accidentally left an apple in my car like i think it rolled under my seat i don't even know if it was in my lunch bag i don't remember the scenario but i do have a video that apple was in my car probably for a month three weeks or a month it was in my car for a long time before i realized it um and that apple was like in pristine condition um it wasn't like rotted rotted out it didn't smell um i mean i think it had like a couple of bruises on it i think if i can remember but it wasn't it wasn't anything like you would expect an apple to be like that had been left out especially in the elements like although it was out in the car i mean it was still like subject to like the heat and like cold so with those elements going on it did not affect this apple at all so to me it's like they're doing something with apples i don't know if there's some kind of it's like a waxy feeling that you can feel on apples but they even the apples don't even look right but they definitely don't taste like apples anymore it was a store that i was going to i would get like my fruits from food line at one time because walmart just like wasn't doing it um but it doesn't matter where i get them from now they all have the same taste and it's like tasteless it's it just doesn't taste like an apple so with the shortages and everything that's going on it kind of makes you wonder i know we're having like product shortages so if they can't get a certain i guess if they can't get like a certain item like are they substituting the ingredients i mean that's the only thing i can think of why things don't taste the same like as far as like the goldfish um orange juice that was another one orange juice i've been buying the homemaker you guys have seen me do grocery hauls with this homemaker orange juice i think it's like the best thing well thought it was the best thing since sliced bread it was good it was affordable 
I bought a container a couple of weeks ago and I tasted it and I just thought like my hormones were out of whack and everything just wasn't okay and it was just me. So I'm like, okay, cause it didn't taste good. It was barely sweet. It just had a more like acidic taste to it. Um, almost like it was made with bad oranges, if that makes sense. But I got another container yesterday, the day before yesterday, y'all, and it tastes the exact same. So that lets me know or makes me think that they either are cutting back on what they're putting in or they're subbing it out with another item that just isn't the same and of course i didn't even check the label it's not like i have an old carton but i wish i had an old carton to like even compare ingredients and maybe that would be the answer to it so i just want to know what you guys are thinking i know the orange juice is different for sure the homemaker orange juice if you guys buy that brand let me know if you notice the difference in that also goldfish the regular old cheddar goldfish let me know if you notice the difference and one other item my daughter um my youngest daughter told me i think it was today or yesterday my days kind of run together y'all so bear with me um she was saying that she was catching a cramp in her foot and i said oh you need some potassium go over there and eat a banana and she was like i don't like bananas anymore and i'm like well sky why don't you like bananas you you've always eaten bananas she was like i don't know they taste gross i don't like them anymore she was like they're mushy and they just taste gross so i don't eat them i was like oh okay so that was new to me because like i said she's always always um been a fan of bananas so it's down to our fruit so it's like either they're I hate to keep on saying that word y'all poisoning us i mean i guess you don't want to think that they would poison us and it was like i don't think i don't know that that's it okay i'm back so yeah i just don't know um what else to think i don't want to sit up here and you know keep on using the word poison because that's kind of harsh um but it is kind of like a reality so you just really never know i mean you never know what you're getting in food you're i mean there's already talks of like I mean, look how we are now, like far as like the meatless meats. I mean, there's genetically modified um, foods that are already out there. And if you look at certain things, even down to chocolate, there was some chocolate that I was eating a couple of months ago. It's a pretty well-known chocolate. And it was like mechanically engineered or something by, I think, yeah, I think it was mechanically engineered or bio something engineered. And it kind of stood out to me. So basically, there were like modifications that were made to uh, chocolate. I would hate to think that they're messing with our foods, but it's, I mean, you never know what's going on. I think sometimes, um, I mean, just to skimp out on things, just because prices, you know, things are more expensive now. And then, like I said, you can't always find the products. So it's like, if they can't find the products, the companies are going to get by with what they can just to, you know, like, sell the item you can't stop selling certain items because you don't have the product that used to go into it so you're gonna sub it you're gonna skip you're gonna do what you have to do so that you can still get that item on the shelf so with that being said i don't know what it is all i can tell you is that the food's not the same this is going to be the quickest way for me to lose this weight <laughs> just because there's so many foods those are the ones that i can think of like the bananas the apples the orange juice the goldfish the hamburger meats um and there's no telling i mean i'm to the point where i'm about ready to stop eating out and for me that's big because i'm big on doordash i know a lot of people don't like eating out um but i eat out it it's it got me through my pregnancy i'm just the type that eats out which will be good because that'll save me money because what i spend on doordash a month is ridiculous it's probably um it's probably a few bills what i spend on doordash and that's not great either so that money could be you know put towards something else but like i said my main reason is like i'm starting not to trust any food at all i'm ready to be done with it all um so yeah, you guys just let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video.